lost 195,000 jobs. As I say at home on occasion, it's time to pick our heads up. We can own the 21st century in a way that makes life better for everyone. It's totally within our capacity to do so. Instead of looking inward, turning inward. It has never, ever, ever worked for us before. It's in our ultimate interest to continue this transatlantic alliance as the foundation for the future of a world that I think we have the capacity to shape and determine its outcome. I think there are many people in the Democratic Party that can defeat Trump, and not a single aspiring candidate that I can think of for the nomination, and I am not one at this point, does not have a better understanding and formulation of American foreign policy than President Trump, in my view. And I, I'm, I'm not being rankly partisan here. The President acknowledged at the outset, he didn't know a lot about foreign policy. He said he watched the news. Um, and uh, there's, uh, although I think he's getting more and more informed out of necessity, but I think there are any number of, uh, of potential candidates uh, uh, seeking the nomination, from Kamala Harris to a whole range of people in my party who would uh, pursue a much more enlightened foreign policy than the president. And we, there, there is, no matter what people try to say, we don't want to insult other countries, there is a special relationship. We have been, um, we have been locked uh, uh, cheek to jowl on almost every important issue that exists. And so without England being totally integrated into the EU, to the extent that it is distanced from that, diminishes our ability to have influence on events uh, on the continent. But I predict to you, because of this, this battle for the soul of the country, I predict to you that Democrats will win 40 seats in the House. And I predict to you there's a slightly better and even chance we win the Senate. Now, CNN is not going to write that down and remind me if I'm wrong. <laughs> but all kidding aside, I really do think we'll, we'll win the Senate. And the core of that is not dissatisfaction at the moment with the economy, because it's not in bad shape. I, would, I think Barack should take some credit for the shape it's in, but that's a, another story. But uh, I think it's people are w wondering, what defines America these days? And uh, I think you're going to see some, some movement.